Hello world and welcome to this edition of Tech on Fire with Blaze. I'm Blaze Stewart, Architect of One Elect, and today we're going to be talking about Azure Monitor and how you can use this for monitoring resources in Azure and how you can alert on that as well. Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about Azure Monitor and we're going to be talking about how you can use this to monitor resources on Azure. So today we're going to be talking about it, what it does and how it works. And then we'll go over to the portal and do a demo of the product and kind of do a tour of it as well. So what exactly is Azure Monitor? Azure Monitor is the utility or resource on Azure. It's a first party resource that allows you to do all things monitoring and logging on Azure. So it's not a third party resource, but basically what it allows you to do is pull together various kinds of activities from virtual machines, from applications, from networking and Azure itself into a common resource that you can use for monitoring, logging and alerting against those resources. So these are three different categories categories that we can look at. So monitoring would be the kinds of things that we do for real time like activities. So we can go into the Azure portal or we can go into a dashboard and we can look at what's going on at the moment. And that allows us to see what is going on on a particular VM. We can see traffic coming in, traffic going out, or if we're looking at activity as it relates to an application, we can see requests being made. We can look at things like that against a given application. If we wanted to look at historical events though, that's where we go into logging. And logging is where we capture a lot of the data from our various kinds of resources. And we bring that into a common repository and then we can create against that and that is called log analytics and we'll look at that in a future video we're not going to be focusing on that today and then based on these kinds of things that we have available in monitoring and logging we can create alerting against those and alerting is basically where I can get notifications against specific kinds of events now there are a lot of things that you can do with alerting you can alert when something is turned on or when something's turned off when thresholds are exceeded against specific metrics and these kinds of things. So it's important to understand that these are three different categories which monitoring attempts to cover. Now, our purposes of today is basically to kind of look at how we can set up a particular resource to get data into Azure Monitor, and then we can look at how that data is presented in Azure Monitor, and then we can look at how we can alert against it as well. So what are the kinds of things that we can monitor on Azure? There's two that we're primarily gonna be talking about today, and that is going to be the first two, and then we'll talk about a third. The first one is activity logs. Now, activity logs are things on Azure that happen. These are events in the Azure environment that you can see. So things like starting or stopping a virtual machine would be an, a, an example of that. Maybe you scale up a virtual machine or you scale it down or you do some kind of change in the Azure environment. These all happen inside of the Azure Resource Manager and the events will then get percolated up into the Azure monitoring system, and then they can be worked against, monitored, and alerted on as well. So the second thing that we can look at in Azure Monitor are metrics, and these are quantifiable data streams that we can look at on the Azure environment. So this would be things like disk IO, disk utilization, network IO, CPU utilization, memory utilization, all of these things that we can attach a number to that will change over time are metrics. And we can set up alerts against these as well and monitor these using Azure Monitor. Now, the third category that we can look at, and this is a separate tool, but we'll talk about it, is logs. And these are logs that come out of our systems. These are not specific to Azure. These could be things like application logs, virtual machine logs, or they could be database logs. And we can collate those into a common repository and then we can query those. And it's part of the monitoring solution on Azure. I mention it here because we'll be looking at it in a future video, but I wanted to make you aware of it so that you can actually think about how you can utilize logs as a separate way of monitoring. But in addition to the two primary first party things that we will be looking at today, which are activity logs and metrics. 
Okay, so I'm here in the Azure portal and I want to open up monitor. Usually you can just type up monitor up here in the top and get it here. And sometimes it'll show up over here in the, the menu right here as well. So you can get to it any number of ways. So this is the dashboard for monitor and you'll see that you have several options here on the left. You can look at various things like alerts, metrics, logs, and service health, etc. workbooks. We'll get into that at some point in the future. And then you can get insights into various Azure services like applications, that'd be like app services, VMs, storage accounts, containers, network, and so on. And then there's some other settings down here. What we're primarily gonna be looking at today is just turning on some kind of monitoring for a given resource. And the one I'm gonna do it for is virtual machines. So what I'm gonna do right here is I can come over here to virtual machines and it's gonna list the virtual machines that I already have enabled monitor for. So in this case, I have this VPN test VPN VM right here that I have already set up monitoring on. So I'm going to be using this one just so we can look at some net metrics coming out of it. But if I wanted to enable this for another subscription, I can easily do that. I can come over here to the monitor, not monitored VMs, and then I could find another one right here inside of this list. And I can simply go into that VM and enable but insights under monitor on that particular resource or do it through the monitor dashboard as well. So if I wanted to enable it for this one, I could enable monitoring for this particular VM. And so what that's just going to do is wire up everything it needs to get going with this particular virtual machine. Okay, so I'm here in the Azure portal and I want to open up monitor. Usually you can just type up monitor up here in the top and get it here. And sometimes it'll show up over here in the, the menu right here as well. So you can get to it any number of ways. So this is the dashboard for monitor and you'll see that you have several options here on the left. You can look at various things like alerts, metrics, logs, and service health, etc. workbooks. We'll get into that at some point in the future. And then you can get insights into various Azure services like applications, that'd be like app services, VMs, storage accounts, containers, network, and so on. And then there's some other settings down here. What we're primarily gonna be looking at today is just turning on some kind of monitoring for a given resource. And the one I'm gonna do it for is virtual machines. So what I'm gonna do right here is I can come over here to virtual machines and it's gonna list the virtual machines that I already have enabled monitor for. So in this case, I have this VPN test VPN VM right here that I have already set up monitoring on. So I'm going to be using this one just so we can look at some net metrics coming out of it. But if I wanted to enable this for another subscription, I can easily do that. I can come over here to the monitor, not monitored VMs, and then I could find another one right here inside of this list. And I can simply go into that VM and enable but insights under monitor on that particular resource or do it through the monitor dashboard as well. So if I wanted to enable it for this one, I could enable monitoring for this particular VM. And so what that's just going to do is wire up everything it needs to get going with this particular virtual machine. Now that I have monitoring turned on on this VM, I could go into this one, but I don't have a lot of data collected just yet. I've had this one on for a while, so I'm going to drill down into it so that we can get an idea of what monitor can actually show us. Now this is just looking at VMs. You'll get different kinds of telemetry for each of the different kinds of services that you're running and that you're monitoring with Azure Monitor. So this is what the dashboard for a virtual machine will look like. So if I click on performance, this is gonna give me metrics related to the performance of the VMs. This is gonna talk about CPU utilization, uh, disk usage and memory usage and things like that. So here you can see that I have some memory uh, usage right here, uh, pretty high for this particular VM. It doesn't have a lot of memory. I think it's got two gigs and it's sitting around 1.3 utilized. And that's kind of a baseline for this particular VM. Down here, you can see that the CPU is basically flat on this VM, and that's because the VVM doesn't really use the CPU much, so that's why I'm using a B-series uh, VM for this particular VM, because the decryption and encryption uh, for VPN traffic is actually fairly low overhead when it comes to actual CPU. And here you can see some of the stuff related to disk. It's got very low IOPS because this is mostly used as a router. It might be do some logging and things like that, but other than that, it's fairly low on the actual usage of the disk. And there is the performance as it relates to the disk in terms of read writes and then you can get disk load here and various different things related to network metrics as well you know bytes sent bytes read and so on so this gives me an overview of the metrics that i can read for this particular vm now if i click on map this is going to show me the kinds of things that i can see 
from the telemetry command on the VM. And that's, you know, things like connected clients. I can look for the actual services that this VM is connected to. So this is reaching out to uh, several different kinds of clients. It's look, doing some HTTPS requests, some uh, NTP requests, a DNS, and so on uh, that you will see under this particular map here. So and it'll also show me the processes that are making this. So I have systemd making some of them. I can see the Azure OMS monitor uh, doing some of these things and so on. So you can see where the actual processes are actually reaching out across the network and requesting resources here for this particular VM. And then over here under health, this is under preview. I don't have enable, but it would show you some health resources as it relates to this particular VM as well. And then of course you can get the general information about the VM and the machine summary is just going to tell me things about the uh, various kinds of IP address settings I might have. What's my gateway? What's my IPv6 VM, CPU? Uh, what's my speed and what's my memory and so on. You can see all that right here. And then I can come over here to log events and this is going to show me things that are happening inside of log analytics. So this would be those things like activity logs that I was talking about. These are Azure related logging. And this isn't so much about the actual logs coming out of the VM as much as this is the actual events that are happening on Azure and the things that Azure is monitoring. So I can get uh, heartbeats, I can get uh, VM inbound ports, outbound ports, processes and things like that. And if I had the changes made to this particular uh, VM. If I was making changes, this would show up here uh, as well. So if I you know, scaled it up or scaled it down or did other, some other changes to this VM, that would show up here as well. And if I had alerts uh, tied to this, I could definitely see those as well. I could tie in alerts based on severity where zero being the worst and four being the least severe. And I could see the total uh, number of alerts here. I don't have any alerts set up for this. Actually I do, I'm gonna show you that in a minute, but it's not been triggered yet. So it's a very benign one, but in any case, this would show you there. And then of course, the kind of connection summary that you can get uh, for the particular VM. And this is gonna show you things like inbound, outbound, that kind of thing. And you can get an idea of what the actual traffic patterns of a VM looks like based on this map here and some of these summaries right here. So this is some of the kinds of things you can use monitor for. And we've seen a couple of them. This is just for VMs, but again, there's going to be specific ones related to different kinds of resources on Azure. So if you want to spin those up and kind of see what those dashboards look like, that would be something you could definitely explore, but it's very easy to do. Pretty much any resource will be available to you in the Azure portal. You can come over to monitor and then you can just simply come over here and connect it to Azure Monitor and then you will be able to see everything that's going on inside of your particular uh, resources on Azure using Monitor. So the last thing I want to talk about is alerts. So the alerts are a way of getting something sent to you whenever something in your environment happens. So in my particular system here, I have an alert set up already and this is for whenever I turn off a VM. So the VM I've been looking at, test VPN VM, I have set up an alert on it so that this particular alert will happen whenever a particular VM is turned off. So this one is set up against test VPN right here. And the condition is whenever activity log has an event, says administrative, that's the kind of event, and the signal name is power off virtual machines. So if I wanted to alter that, I could, but this is the event that will trigger this alert. And what this will do in the case that this happens is it'll kick off an email. So I'm gonna go ahead and trigger this particular uh, alert. So then see if I get an email telling me that this virtual machine turned off. But if you wanna create one of these, they're fairly easy to do. You just simply come over here and come into new rule and then you would select source. Uh, the source is going to determine what kind of conditions you can have for that. So if I wanted to create one for a given resource right here of uh, say, I'm gonna change this to this particular subscription and then change the resource type to virtual machines, which we've been looking at here. If I go to virtual machines right there, I have a bunch of virtual machines I can alert on. I'm going to select this one right here for the source and I can add a condition in here and it'll show me all of the kinds of conditions that I can alert on. So this particular one here and all these down here is gonna show me that these are metrics. And remember what I said about metrics, these are quantifiable 
things that I can measure inside of my environment, such as CPU utilization, disk IO, and those kinds of things. So if these go over a particular threshold, I can send alerts on these particular types of events. Now, the other thing I can report on are things from the activity log. And the activity log, as I mentioned, are the events that I will have coming out of Azure Resource Manager. These would be things like turning off a VM, turning on a VM, deleting a VM, and so on. There's a lot of different kinds of things that you can talk about just for VMs. So the activity log events are things that are more qualitative in nature, while the metrics are more quantitative in nature. So these I would have to create some kind of event that would be fired if a certain threshold was exceeded. So this one be greater than total aggregate type threshold and then the unit, and then I could add an alert for that. But I'm not gonna add this one, I'm simply gonna trigger the one that I do have. So let's go over to my virtual machine and let's see if I get an email telling me that that VM was turned off. Okay, I'm here looking at my VM and I'm simply just gonna stop my VM and let's see if that alert will fire. So I'm gonna wait for it to come in and then I'll show you it when it does. So here are some of the alerts that I have for this particular VM that I have. I've run this one a few times. You can see there that I have the VPN turn off alert there. And here's a screenshot of the email that I got that it sent to me. So I just snapshot it and put it here because I don't wanna show you my email. It's got a lot of more personal stuff in there, but this is the, the screenshot from it. In any case, you can see that it is uh, working there. And uh, I am able to get the uh, telemetry out of this for events and monitoring. So again, this is a very powerful tool for monitoring your Azure resources. We're gonna do some more in-depth videos on this where we're gonna be talking about some things that you can do in addition to monitoring and alerting with monitor. You can uh, trigger things like webhooks and run jobs that will allow you to do some integration with this as well. We'll look at some of that in some future videos. And we're also gonna look at the log analytics and how you can do some research and querying against the logs that are coming out of your resources as well. So stay tuned for those videos and looking forward to this small mini series on Azure Monitor. If you like this content, please consider visiting us online at www.wintelect.com. And there you can find about services that Wintelect offers, including training and consulting services. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to get notifications when new content becomes available and also comment down below. You can also follow me on Twitter at The One Mule and also follow Wintelect on Twitter at Wintelect Now or at Wintelect. We are constantly posting things about Azure related technologies and things related to software development. You can also reach us by email at consulting at Until next time, thank you.